Did you ever try to make rice for a crowd and turn out not so perfect rice? Well, it's because when you double or triple the quantity of rice in a recipe, you don't double or triple the quantity of broth. So I'm going to show you my foolproof way to make rice for a crowd, Mexican white rice for a crowd. And the first thing that I have to do is to chop up a large onion and six cloves of garlic. Turn my large, heavy pot onto medium heat. Then add about a third of a cup of oil. I've got four and a half cups of rice that's going in. And I'm going to add all of that onion. And we're going to cook this until those rice grains turn from translucent to a kind of milky white. That'll take seven or eight minutes here, depending on the temperature that you're cooking over. Stir in this chopped garlic now that the rice is milky looking. Another little secret that I learned when I was living in Mexico is that if you add a little lime juice to the broth, it'll keep the rice white. The simmering broth is another trick that I learned as well. If you want the rice to cook very evenly, then make sure that the broth that you add to the raw rice is warm. Put a heavy top on it and then slide it into a 350 degree oven and let it bake there. It'll take about 25 minutes for it to get done. It looks perfect. Wow. I'm gonna tip it out here onto a baking sheet so that it, all of the steam will escape and the rice won't overcook. See how beautiful and separate the grains are? When it's time for the party, cover this with a piece of aluminum foil, put it into the oven about 325 degrees and let it warm through. I love the classic Mexican white rice with a little bit of chopped parsley mixed in. You could put cilantro or another herb of your choice, but this rice is always a winner. Mm -hmm.